Hello there. Today I want to talk about a topic about dating. I trusted the wrong dudes because I ignored my gut feeling and I should have known that I'm dealing with a man child. I will share unforgivable actions that shows he's a man child and not good for you so that you don't have to deal with the embarrassment and disappointments I had. Before I begin I will explain why it's important that he scores very well. Everything he does needs to be good, if it's great then it's even better, but never settle for less than good, arriving on time, social skills, gentleman orientated, has he pulled a chair out so you can sit, does he pour your glass first before he pours into his own, how is his table manners, if he was good then he can ask you out for another date, if you got a report card from your university and all you got is a D, or a C, would you be happy with those grades? Are you willing to show that off to your employer? If your answer is no then why accept a man who performs poorly? A man who performs poorly will also behave poorly in the future or even worse. Your lowest ranking should be good, second place should be great, and your highest ranking is prestigious. Your lowest ranking should not be acceptable or fine but good. The reason why is because good men perform good. Losers want you to cater to them and accept as crowns. Weed these men out of your life, because you're the best and you deserve the best. I tried being the cool girl, who is happy with low efforts, who doesn't have high standards and it never made me feel I'm doing the right thing. Always aim high because if you miss you're always better off than women who dated below the barrel man. Wanting a man who performs good is not having high standards, you are asking for the lowest ranking that should be allowed in dating or in marriage. Do not over communicate, do not explain. Do not tell him what he did wrong, when he's not performing well then end contact as soon as you get home. Remember, great men with class don't need second chances, because they are already excellent on their first try, here are my unforgivable sins in dating. Number 1. Low quality flowers. Low effort gifts and input shows how little he cares about you and will prioritize what's best for him. A man who wants to leave a good impression without breaking the bank would buy seeds and grow them in his own garden. Don't bother with a man like that. I received flowers once and they smelled bad, and they were almost dying, and my gut feeling felt like I should have just walked away. Number 2 Dry Begging Dry begging is that he wants something from you and leave clear hints instead of asking you up front, like sob stories that he doesn't have a lot of money for groceries or that his house needs to be cleaned. Dry begging is a tactic men use to make you give them things without feeling responsible for doing anything in return, because he never asked you to do such a thing. Beware of the dry beggar, if a man doesn't ask you what he wants then leave him behind, they are masterful manipulators. Number 3. He wants a forever girlfriend. If a man thinks it's too early to get married or at least have a registered partnership, but it's not too early to have sex, have children and live in your house then he wants the privilege of the husband, but not the responsibility. Those men are called homosexuals or to be more specific he's a parasite, you are already acting like a wife putting up with him and if he refuses to be a defender and provider then drop him like a hot brick. Number 4 You agree to have a home-cooked meal, but he's deciding what he'll make you. If he truly cares he will ask what you would like to eat and he'll make it for you, but when he decides what he'll cook for you then it's a clear sign that he wants sex as affordable as possible, and if he can make you dinner with the things he already has at home you are treated as a cheap prostitute and a man who views you this way would be a good man to you in the long run. Number 5 He wants to date you to get to know you. You might think that can't be a red flag but it is, he wants to get to know you and have fun, use your time and resources to see if you pass the test of time, if you're replacable or only suitable for a booty call, with other words you are on a friends with benefits prepaid plan without your consent. Don't be a fool, dating is modern courtship and the end result is marriage not have you used up and screwed around with. If you allow yourself to be treated as a joyride you will be thrown out like trash when he's bored of you. Men who respect you will not date you to get to know you, he will date you to see if you're born for each other. Number 6. When he asks if you he's a good boyfriend or if you love him after he let you down or out of the blue. 
it's just for his own validation to make himself feel better for his low efforts or use it against you when you claim you don't think you are suitable for each other he'll remind you or others what you said to keep his nice guy act intact. It's never asked for your own best interest to improve himself. Men who ask if they are a good boyfriends come from a place of self-entitlement, like overgrown children they want to be coddled and reassured that they are good guys instead of reassuring you that they want to improve if anything is missing in your relationship. A man who wants to be sure his commitment is on point will ask if you are happy with him, or if you feel loved by him. If you do think he means nothing wrong with asking if he's a good boyfriend then why not test him by saying no? See how he reacts. If he gets angry or feel offended then you know he's not asking to make sure your needs are met but he wants to nurture his own ego by hearing what he wants to hear. Number 7. If he only seems to like you when you do things he wants. If the mood dies down as soon as you decline his offer or rather wants to hang out another time than do something you prefer then you need to leave him behind. A man who truly wants to have you in his life would do things he's not even interested in or not in the mood for if it makes you smile, 